Today I made a very bad and impulsive decision. We have just started and the bucket of quick blue is right in my face. In my face. <sighs> now we're waiting for 40 volumes, T18 and silver shampoo. I'm deciding to go blonde by myself at home. So yeah, mental breakdown. Yeah, you can say that, mental breakdown. So I got a bunch of shit at Sally's and I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Hopefully I learned something from all the YouTube videos I've been watching all week. So if you want to see me fuck my hair up, most likely, then keep watching. So I've officially changed into my hair dyeing outfit. We out here. So this is how long my hair is. It's super oily because um, I haven't washed it in four days, according to YouTube. It says to let your hair get oily so your natural oils protect your hair from the bleach. It's not your hair that needs to be protected from the bleach. It's your scalp that needs to be protected from the bleach. Sometimes people hear something and they make their own story about it. You need to unwash your hair because the sebum that is releasing from your layer, from your roots are protecting your scalp. That's the only reason. Your hair will not be protected by the seed bum. And please don't put coconut oil on your hair. I'm probably still gonna fry my hair off, but everything's fine. Okay, so this is everything that I got. Yes, no 40 volumes. Woo! I'm really happy with small things today. I got the quick blue bleach powder. I got two of the Wella T35 toners, which I don't know if I'm gonna use yet. Um, I got 30 volume developer board for the bleach. 20 for the toner, and then gloves, a mixing bowl, a little mixing spoon brush thing, and some shimmer light shampoo. So let's see how this goes. The only thing that was not true, it was not T18, but it was color charm. It was not 40 volumes. Small points of light. And have you seen how dark her color is? It will be orange, I can tell you right now. It will be orange. I just finished putting bleach all over my head. I didn't get the roots because I was scared, so I'll probably get those after I see what the rest looks like. Mm, I didn't record the process because I took forever, so I'll see you guys in 30 minutes and hopefully I don't look like a penny. It's a very good thing that you didn't do the roots. Let me forget the quick blue. Let, let, let's, let's forget that. I hate my life. No, 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 no. Don't hate your life. This is a very good color for you. Better than that black. For me, put some nice copper, dark or burn copper with the dark roots. I'm the only one who likes it. She's not. So she wanted Targaryen blonde, I guess. I guess I'm gonna have to do it again. Round two of bleach. Hopefully take some of the orange out. I'm super tired. Some of the orange, it will be orange. You cannot go from that dark with quick blue. Battery acid. You cannot go to platinum. No, 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 not even with 30, not even with 40. You need to foil it. You need to do slow bleaching. I don't know how many brown colors that are in your hair. If you are going to a salon and you said, I'm this dark, I want to have a very ashy, light, blonde color, you will be there for 10 hours, if it's possible. So it's the next day and my hair is still very, very orange. So I give up. I'm not going to bleach it a third time. I'm just going to dye it red because I just don't want black hair. I'm bored. Imagine if they would hear me saying the first time, Put some copper, some auburn color on your head. Then you should not bleach the second round. I should go live with somebody who is coloring their head. So it will be very difficult uh, because I have limited of time. I'm in my salon uh, every day. And then in the evening, I record these videos. I have a family. So my life is really busy. So it will be very difficult to match with the time that somebody else has doing their hair. But it will be a great idea. 
Okay, guys, so day two. This is what my hair is looking like. Super orange, yellow, all types of colors. So I'm impatient. I'm not trying to go out looking like this. So I'm just going to dye my hair red um, with L'Oreal's Chroma Sangria. Hopefully it goes good. Anything is better than this at this point. So yeah. This will be very, very, very vibrant red. It will be beautiful. I liked really the first color, that that brown coppery color. That, that, that was amazing for your skin tone. Okay. So I think that's good enough of a consistency. Hopefully I put enough developer. But... The mixture has to be right. If it's on the packaging one to one or one to one and a half, one to two, you need to follow that. The mixture has to be perfect to have the perfect result. That's really, really important. Clearly I don't even care anymore. So let's just put this on my hair. It's really liquid. Okay, I just finished applying the red all over my hair. I made a mess. Next time I'll buy some more gloves because my hands are super red. So I'm gonna clean the bathroom while I wait and I will check in with you guys in 30 minutes. Hey guys, so I let my hair air dry. This is how the color turned out. It's beautiful. And with the dark roots, shadow roots, I like that. I like that more than, than, than hot roots. Uh, flashy roots but hey who am I maybe old-fashioned I don't know it's a really good color but I liked after the first bleach more please you liked this color or maybe the red color put it in the comments um I actually really like it despite my hands being red so I'm not using gloves but that's totally my fault but I really like it I'm gonna go style my hair how I usually do it and I'm gonna do my makeup and I will be right back. And so here's the finished look. Look at her hands. It will stain for a long time. If you're not afraid of bleach, and I guess you're not afraid of bleach, you can bleach your hands, it will come off, uh, but it's not healthy. I don't know if I should recommend it, but if you have to go to work with that hands, that's not good. You have some tissues with some product on, but these, these are not so healthy either. Okay, so I'm about to make such a stupid decision. For real. So I've been wanting to change something about my hair just because I feel like it. I ordered from Walgreens a couple things that we're gonna do. So we're gonna bleach our hair, okay? And then I got two colors because I didn't know which one I wanted. This one's giving me orange. It's giving orange. And this one is ultra ash light brown. Okay, okay, okay. She's not want it very platinum blonde so i'm very very happy with that i think i'm like i think i'm gonna do this one i got both just in case i didn't know okay i'm like getting more nervous now that i'm doing it and i'm wondering if i should just do a test strand just to see what happens i think i'm gonna do that because what if i fuck up my hair like real bad okay so we are in our test strand era you don't see a lot of people doing test trends. That's really wise. Sarah powder, add cream developer. Okay. Oh, this is the responsible way to do this. You know what I mean? This is mad dumb, isn't it? And people are gonna be like, is she, are she serious? But why are you putting all the powder in the box for just one test strand? Because once you mixed it, it starts working. So if you do a test strand, wait 30 minutes to see the result and then use that product mixture on your hair. It's less effective because it's already mixed 30, 40, 50 minutes ago. You just need a little bit. If you do a test strand, a little bit powder, a little bit of oxidation and that's it. Don't, don't put the whole package in that bowl. What do you think you are, a hairstylist? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. In the hairstyle. <coughs> In the hairstyle, you're like, girl, why did you do that? And I was like, because I was bored. Duh. Okay. Oh, because you're bored. Okay, I'm just going to add it all. It's the first time that I see actually an oxidation number, a volume on the packaging. This one is 40 volume. So it's for, I always expected that it was 40 volumes that was in that kind of box. 
and uh, sometimes it's there's no number on top of that and then you know it will be very high but here it actually says 40 volume this is bad mix well with brush until mixture becomes which thick and creamy that sounds yummy this looks wild oh, i feel like i'm baking a cake i don't know what's wrong with me like i have this feeling where like i want to run away from my life and so I can't do that. So what I do is I change something about my appearance or I get a tattoo, which I want to get another one. This looks thick and creamy. All right. Oops. Apply it to your test strand. That's Kiki. He's using the bathroom right now. You cut it off a test strand? Okay, that's not the point of a test strand, the test strand in the back. Okay, okay, if you cut it, it's okay. This bathroom's right next to mine. Imagine this comes out so bad. Also, that I would have just paid 70 bucks for no reason, so I feel like I have to commit. You know what I mean? Oh, Sometimes I make the stupidest decisions, like 100%. Okay, we're back. 30 minutes later, felt like the eternity. Um, I'm one glass of wine deep because I feel like... All right. So as you can see, it's like... Oh... Okay, Gabriella, giving light in. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try and put that dye on this and see what happens. Okay, guys, let's get it together. But this will be a good color for that. But you don't need to go with 40 volumes to have that light ash brown. That's way too high volume to just do this few tones. You know what? If it's bad, we can always box dye it black, so. Let's do it. Literally like Lord Farquaad, it's crazy. I'm, or like Willy Wonka. Okay, Gabby, let's do this. I'm scared, but I'm excited. Where's my, I'm gonna go like this. This is not. Ugh. You just need to lift it a few, a few shades. So don't leave it too long on your hair and don't do the roots. You don't want hot roots with this brown color. I'm gonna show up to work tomorrow. I'm just like, what the fuck? Like, why do you always change your hair? Cause I just can't. Right. Oh my God, I got on my, oh, I'm supposed to wear the glove. Damn it. Okay, hold on, hold on. This ain't my <laughs> These gloves are always so, so, so big. I don't know whose hands are that big. Okay, um, but how does the product get on the back is what I'm wondering. Now you're wondering that, not before you started. I think, you know what? <laughs> Gabby, we're gonna do it our way. We are gonna do it our way, baby. If you came into my salon with the ask of removing three or four, maybe five tones of your dark brown hair to go to an ash, light brown hair then i will do a bleach wash i will do a bleach wash and just look at it until it's the right level and then put a light brown on top of that but not with 40 volumes guys i feel like you know i'm not doing that bad but like we'll see so but i was forgetting that you mixed it before the test trend then you colored the test trend it's already one hour, one hour and a quarter that it's mixtured. So maybe if we're lucky, the 40 volume is not 40 volume anymore because it's going less and less and less over time. Maybe it's evolving to 20 volume. All right, now it's time for the next section. Yay. Let's see if this guy takes it back. Mm. Okay, so I told him he can come over. I told him what I was doing. I was like, hey, like I'm dying my hair. He's like, oh, okay, can I come over? I was like, I guess. Sit back and observe, biatch. I think I have an emotional crisis about it most days. I'm like, fuck. You go to the roots. How are you bleaching? Skin up there. And it's like, I know. Me to me, you know, me to me. I'm like, damn. 25? I never even thought I'd make it to fucking 23. And sometimes I still feel like I'm like 17, like low key. You know, like it's not too bad. That's really big sections and you're just going randomly over your roots. So there will be roots that are lifted. There'll be roots that don't receive any bleach. 
I'm really worried about this. This will find out. <laughs> The way she's applying it on top, this will be very, very, very spotty. Okay, we're gonna leave this on for a little bit and then we're gonna take it off, but look, you can already tell. The bleach is bleaching. Oh, the spots, the spots. This will be bad. Orange hair, Vera. It's not just the orange hair, it's the spots. Orange hair is fixable with a color on top of that. You wanted to go to Coppery brown or ash, so I would go with coppery brown now. Uh, that will cover the most of it. Okay, we're gonna fix it. Okay, good. The right choice. It's super brassy, but we'll figure it out together. I think the color is better than that dark one. It's softer for your skin, but it's really uneven. It's really patchy because what do you expect? You just randomly go with your brush over your hair. Oh. But hey, put the same color on your hair again and it will be better. It will be coppery because you bleached it. Ash, you need to bleach it a little bit further and then put ash on top of that. If you want to have a seven ash, you need to bleach it to eight or nine to go to seven ash. If you bleach it to seven and you put seven ash, it will not do anything. So you need to bleach one or two tones further to go to that dark ash again. Press one of these videos to see more hair pills and hair tips. Have you learned from this video? Have been entertained by this video? Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, press that notification bell, you can follow me on Instagram, you can follow me on Facebook, you can follow me on TikTok. All I'm going to say today is, ciao kiss.